Et il y a que la signe, il y a que tu crois, pour que tu ne peux pas dire 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 que Là, nous ne sommes pas d'accord. Tout ce que nous demandons, c'est le retour. Nous n'avons pas dit non au dialogue, mais on est ouvert. Même au temps de guerre, il y a toujours, la porte est toujours ouverte euh, au dialogue. Donc, mais on, ne peut, on ne peut jamais nous imposer n'importe quoi. Pas du tout. Donc, oubliez ce référendum. C'est pourquoi nous parlons de la résistance. Nous allons résister jusqu'à la fin. Ugandan politics. Let me say that back to go. Yes, a stone threw away. Mm. People are killed. There is very little attention, particularly from Ghana, mm. which is the closest neighbor to Togo. You understand? There is very little attention. Mm. 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 And two, three days ago, one of the opposition leaders has been on hunger strike at the Ghana embassy, protesting for the release of other political prisoners. Very little news, he said. Nicodemi Hadia has been protesting and is on hunger strike at the Ghana embassy. Whether the Ghanaian embassy officials have even reported same to Ghana authority, the presidency. Mm. So for them to know that this is what is going on, this is a major political party leader who is on hunger strike. Mm. If he dies at the embassy of Ghana, it has its own ramifications and yet very little is heard or seen about what is happening in togo our government has gone to rather ensure that for is entrenched 
after 51 years of dynastic rule hmm. in Togo. His father did 38 years. He has done 13 years and continues. And we are supporting. And I keep saying that if Nkrumah was not even allowed to do, Rollins was not allowed to do, all of us were on the street. Ghana should not be hobnobbing mm. with the government of Togo, particularly for Nyasimbe. Our Minister for National Security is compromised in this whole enterprise. And I think that, uh, as I have told some friends from Togo, and you see, the other day I came here on a motorbike, I told you, mm. because I was getting late. Yeah. Unknown to me, it was a Togoli. And I keep telling you that all these people that are running into Ghana will have to find something to do. That's true. And so you go and Sabo from the community, from the New York of Ghana, you know that the Togolese presence is huge. They speak Kotokoli and so they are easily assimilated or they easily get into our society. They speak many other Ghanaian languages. Some speak Chui, some speak Ewe, some speak Basa. So they are with us. If you go to the northern part, they are all there. So if we are not careful as a nation, we'll be boomeranged. Because some officials have decided that, as for them, whatever they are benefiting from the disturbances in Togo, they will continue whilst we see the rot that is going. Then you just move to uh, Cameroon. Mm. Look at what is happening in Cameroon. We are pretending that we don't know what is happening. And there is a bigger danger that will just consume all of us, particularly Southern Cameroon, who speak English. The day that they will be running away, and indeed, we know that they are even in Ghana already in their numbers because they are running and seeking. And you enter into Ghana, you don't need a passport, you don't need a visa, you just walk in. So that is the, the danger we are facing. So now. <laughs> Si prochainement vous voulez brûler tout au là, faites-nous signe, on va faire déplacer nos parents. Là, vous allez brûler le reste. Donc, nous, on gagne quoi